Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Robert Williams, and here is a Bloomberg terminal. So this is one of my first few videos. Maybe I have one or two others on my channel that you could take a look at, but uh, since I haven't really done this too much, it might be slightly rusty and shaky. I don't have a tripod yet, but once I get one of those, it'll be a little bit better. So as you can see, I'll back up. This is the Bloomberg terminal and my workstation. I have a book, a book, and a book bag, <laughs> a few TVs, and a few more terminals and other goodies. So basically, what I wanna show you is the functionality of the Bloomberg terminal and how to use it, because obviously these are very expensive pieces of hardware that not everybody has. So we'll go over exactly uh, what it is before we start using it and showing you different functions. So here uh, we have the keyboard, which is multicolored. Depending on different functionality, you have different colors, green, yellow, red, and black, blue at the bottom. Uh, you have the dual monitor hardware system, mouse, and then the CPU, which it's connected to down there. So first we'll start with the keyboard. As you can see, we have a row in yellow, and that's what we want to focus on first because these are the different asset classes on the Bloomberg terminal. Uh, government bonds, F3 corporate bonds, uh, F4 mortgage, F5 muni markets, or pardon me, M market. I don't use a lot of these different things, to be honest, yet because I've been focusing on F8, which is equity, and um, I am branching out into the different asset classes on the Bloomberg, but there's so much functionality within it with the different functions and things of that nature that um, it's very easy just to focus on one asset class and then hone in from there. So that's actually what we're going to do today. So why don't we hit F8 and it will say equity up there and press go on the keyboard for enter. So this brings up the main menu of Bloomberg functions, as you can see, for equities. And we have the main portal of different things that we could do. So we see uh, security finder for number two, number four, WEI is the world equity indexes. And that's actually what I want to go to right now. So there are a few different ways to get to these different functions. And one way is the way that I just showed you by pressing F8 equity, but I could have typed in WEI and it'll bring up the same function. So what you see here are the different world equity indexes uh, from the Americas, EMA, which is um, Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. And then down here, we have Asia Pacific. So Dow Jones, S&P 500, NASDAQ, uh, and a bunch of others. We can click on one to expand the view. And on the keyboard, we have menu here to go back. So this is a very important function. Another one of my favorites is M-O-S-T. So anything that you type into the Bloomberg command line up here, where that blue square is flashing, M-O-S-T, uh, it'll populate into this list here. So whether it's a function or a security, like MobileSmith, their ticker symbol is M-O-S-T, uh, it'll populate it. But I want actually these most active securities here. And this will show me all of the most active securities for the day. Uh, ranging from volume, percentage change up, percentage change down, 52-week um, highs, 52-week lows, and things of that nature. So I usually start with volume, and this is where Bloomberg starts you with. Over here, we have a few different options for the market cap. Uh, let's do 50 million. We could keep it on unlimited. And then pre-market, so we can see what happens before the market opens. And it's 9.43 right now, so the market's open already, but this is what's happened pre-market. So right now we can see AMD, LBPF, WSM, which is William sonoma We all know them. William sonoma is up 8.21% right now. And just like your cell phone, with the strong signal, it has full bars right now. So we can actually click those bars to go to the company news and see exactly what's going on. So number one highlighted, we see William sonoma Second quarter adjusted earnings per share beats highest estimate. Shares rise 5.8%.
Williams-Sonoma reported adjusting earnings per share for the second quarter that beat the highest analyst estimates. And second quarter net revenue, $1.28 billion. Estimate, $1.26 billion. Okay. So Williams-Sonoma is doing well. We'll hit menu on the keyboard to go back to the full list. And we can do something different. I'm going to type in DES, the function for security description, enter, and see Williams-Sonoma, Inc., retails, cooking and serving equipment, home furnishings, and home accessories through retail stores. So this is the main overview for the description of Williams-Sonoma. We have their issue info. Uh, sorry, let's go back. Profile. So we have the 52-week high, and you can see in green, 823.18, which is today. They've hit at 69. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah. 69.34. William Sonoma's ripping right now. You can see in the chart up here, we can actually click that GP, that it's going up. So this is one year. You can see one year is highlighted. We're going to press this little triangle drop down and switch this to candlesticks because, uh, you know, everybody's probably more familiar with that. And you can see a lot more information in terms of the price moves per day. So this is a daily chart for the past one year of Williams Sonoma. And on the right side, you can see the gap up. So this company is up huge off of its uh, revenue beats, you know, what an analysts had uh, projected for its second quarter estimates. So one year, five year, Williams-Sonoma had a huge move down right here. That was, uh, you know, about June, July of 2015. It formed a base from... December or January of 2016, all the way up until May of this year. And it broke out the resistance of this range on a big move. You could see the volume down here, huge volume, and now it gapped up. So I'm looking for a price target of maybe $80 now. That's where historical resistance is, resistance up here at 90 and uh, who knows? Williams-Sonoma, quality products, everybody knows them. Have a good day, guys. Peace.